I'm gonna show you how to make a Victorian bicycle chain necklace. And for that, we're going to need a big piece of bike chain, uh, bicycle spokes with, along with the nuts, beads, and these little clear tubes which come from uh, acupuncture needles. You can go to your local acupuncturist and ask them for the tubes that they throw away. First, you're gonna need to take apart the bicycle chain into sections this big. And um, if you don't have a tool that works, which I don't, I used a hammer and all, and like this. Take the bike chain outside onto a cement surface, put a nut under the piece that you want to take out, put an awl in it, and hammer it a few times really good, and that'll take it apart. Okay, so you have a bunch of sections like this. Then you're going to want to take uh, the tubes and cut them. My hands are filthy from the bicycle chain. By the way, I, I cleaned w one of my chains with carburetor cleaner and it stinks to high heaven and I cannot get the smell out. I would just clean it with dish soap. Uh, soak it in dish soap and uh, hot water. So you're going to take your little tubes and cut them to, I have about an inch size here, about five inches long. These are very hard to cut. So go back out onto your cement surface and measure off where you want it cut. Do one first and then uh, clamp this down really hard and then put it down on the cement and hammer right here a couple times really good and it'll snap off and you'll have this piece here. Put the nut back on the top here so it's flush with the bicycle spoke. Okay, and you wanna several of those. Now we're gonna start putting the pieces together have a series, what happened to that? Oh, there we go. They're stuck together. That one, they like to hide inside themselves. Open it up. Okay, several of those. We're gonna put it together like this. We've got oh, never mind. one piece there, one piece here. I'm gonna stick the spoke in the top. Put a little tube, put the spoke through the tube, put it through the bottom one, and pull it all the way through. All right, now I'm gonna bend this. Oopsie daisy. Perhaps I'll use a pair of pliers. Take this tip and curl it that direction, curl it down, because it's going to look like this. OK, 
Okay, so now I've got it straight like that. And I want it to curve like yay. Okay, make sure that's held together. And I'll just work it in an arc. I thought of using floral wire, but that's too soft. It will unbend very easily. And how am I? How close am I? Needs to go up a little more. Bend in a little more. Okay, that's about even. Now, just continue doing that. Insert. Open this up, insert the top one, insert the bottom one, put the tube in the center, and the spoke goes through it, on the bottom, bend it upwards, and repeat the whole process. Here. To see if you're getting them fairly similar, lay them all flat like that. And when they overlap, they should be roughly the same location. Not one up here and one down here. Okay? Like that. For the end pieces here, I'm finishing off with a smaller piece. I'm not going to have a little chandelier hanging off that. So... This is just very painful. And round and round and round. There you go. Okay, that's all I need now. I've cut a piece of 24 gauge silver colored wire that's going to go around here fit inside each of these loops, right inside the loops, and hold the spacers. All right, I changed my mind. I took out all the little spacers and put beads instead as spacers. Got these at a dollar store. Um, so, keep going. Okay, all the beads are on. And I've decided it can be worn in either direction, either like yay or in that direction. And now I'm going to dangle some little chandelier beads off of each connecting point. <laughs> 